here's the cross member. See, I took a pretty nice rock right there. The whole thing is supposed to be flat. And now it's, uh, it's rocking. Hey guys, today we're going to be replacing the transmission mount and repairing the transmission cross member on the second gen Tacoma. Now this video is going to be part three of the trail damage repair series. And to give you guys a quick recap of what we did in part one and part two. In part one, we went over all the damage that my truck has sustained from the last several trips. And in part two, I showed you guys how fun it was to replace those motor mounts. So with that, let's get to the truck. And here is where we are with the truck right now, guys. I did put her on jack stance, as you see there, and pulled off the two rear tires. And this is definitely a good time to pull the drive shaft. Now I do have a full tutorial on pulling out the drive shaft and the U-joints. I'll link them down below. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail with how to remove this thing. So here we are under the transmission. In one of my previous videos, I did show you guys how to replace this, but I also did tell you to remove this front drive shaft. And in this one, I'm going to try to keep things as much assembled as possible. I have already removed the rear drive shaft for inspection, but this one I was inspecting yesterday. We should be able to remove pretty much all these bolts without having to remove too, too much. So we'll test that idea out. And the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to loosen all four of these bolts that hold the transmission mount onto the transmission. And these are four 14 millimeter bolts. This first one I am removing completely so we can access that inner one. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna loosen and get a couple threads off. Now this passenger side should be a little bit easier. Since we, do, we do have more clearance. So just loosen them, these two. Similarly, we've got a few more threads off. So we just want this thing basically kind of floating. All right, now for these lower bolts, as well as the shielding here, I am going to hit them with a little bit of uh, our thread buster, nut buster, do down both sides. Since this is completely exposed to dirt. It's definitely good to get all that grit out of the threads. Doesn't seize up on us when we're undoing it. And these will undo with a 14 millimeter wrench. The nuts will undo completely, but we'll leave the bolts in there. And we'll have to do this for both sides. Now we can undo the two bolts that hold the shield up here. So at this point, guys, I will be using my transmission jack to jack up the transmission so we can get the weight off of those mounts. And I'm just jacking it up until I see that those mounts basically move up slightly, just like that because all the weight is now on that transmission jack. Now we can remove those four bolts up top. 
And again, those are 14 millimeter bolt. Now I will remove two of the inner bolts that hold that cross member. I'll also take a jack stand and just stick it right underneath this one so it doesn't drop on us. This side, I removed both of the bolts on the passenger side. I'll uh, hammer this one out. And I'll take a pin punch to drive this completely out. Lower this a bit. This is probably where it's gonna suck a little bit since we've bashed so much rocks on the front end of, of this, there's probably a little bit of distortion. She's right on there, a little stuck. Slowly coming down. I forgot to take that little bracket off. We'll take that off real quick, guys. And this one is just a 12 millimeter bolt up top. I am going to mark the front end of this transmission mount. So there's a groove here, and it basically shows that this is the forward direction for the new one. And we'll just take a 12 millimeter socket to undo all four bolts. Go. And here's the cross member. See, I took a pretty nice rock right there. And this is actually bent up a little bit. I'll lay it on the table so you guys can see. See, this whole thing is supposed to be flat. And now it's uh it's rocking. I'll probably put it on the on the press. Press it, bend it back so it's straight. Same thing at this angle. Press it down from this end. Hopefully straighten this out a little bit more. Now let's see if we can bend this back enough. So after working down the press, it's definitely straightened out a little bit more. Not perfect, but it's good enough for now until we re-engineer a better cross beam and also pair it with some skid plates. But for the purposes of getting the truck running and getting it back on the road, this is definitely good enough. And that's why I do recommend having a hydraulic press. So let's see what we can do with bending this back. I'm going to take this, uh, this crescent wrench here and then just kind of grip that enough there. Bend this back slightly. I think for now, that's good enough. I'll put the cross beam on just to test fit, make sure everything fits. And then uh, we'll reinstall the transmission mount. Looks like it should fit. So take it back out and uh, prepare those surfaces. Uh, there we go. All right, so right now, I'm just gonna brush off all the surfaces. Get all the crud rust out of there. Do that for both sides. 
Then brush on some anti-seeds on those surfaces as future proofing. We'll do the same thing here, guys. Brush off all that grit, that crud. It's a little bit of rust, but that's uh, what happens with bare metal. And it would definitely be good to brush off all the crud and dirt off of the screws that hold that transmission mount. And just like always, future planning. Here we got the transmission mounts side by side, guys. And I did go with the OEM, so I went to the local dealership and got these. So as you can see, this metal section is sunken in probably about quarter to three sixteenths of an inch. Because after a while, all that extra weight will crush these rubber mounting points. Now we can install this on the cross member and I did mark it out so I know this is going forward stick it upside down on the workbench just like that then we can take our cross beam just put it on top just like that and I have already put some anti-seize on the screws and these are just going to be finger tightened for now so we do want some play when we install this on the truck now we could hammer on this new transmission mount guys like just hammering it on i have one side in so i'm just gonna stick the bolts in I'm sorry guys it looks like when i was filming mounting those bolts onto the transmission itself my camera died and the whole file got corrupted so essentially what i was mentioning was it's good that we keep play in the transmission mount itself so we can make adjustments because you will have to push that transmission upwards in order to get some of the bolts to line up and then there's also going to be other techniques which you basically just take a socket or like a pin punch to shift it forward and backwards just in case those bolts don't exactly line up as you're mounting those uh those bolts in so at this point i'm going to install this little u-bracket here onto the cross member before i take the weight completely off of the transmission All right, we'll start with tightening these bottom bolts, 30 foot pounds, and these are 12 millimeter bolts. We definitely want to tighten these down across pattern. Then we'll tighten down these long bolts to 15 foot pounds. And we can tighten down those mounting bolts on the transmission to 45 foot pounds. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button while you're at it. Until next time, peace out everybody.